from West Virginia. <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> it just sounded good, you know. <laughs> Sounds all heavy. Uh, I'm surprised we don't have a bunch of Christmas decorations up here. Uh, Tis the season, and I wrote a Christmas song. Sweet! I wanted it to tell the Christmas story. Oh, Jesus. It goes like this. <laughs> you believe in Christmas, and you already know. It's not about those presents, all wrapped in pretty books. About the children awake on Christmas morn. It's about the Savior and the night that he was born.
Johnny be good. Ones. If you ever seen, uh, if you've been on Facebook, they've been pushing these for a while. But oh, five, six, eight years ago, uh, I wound up with this uh, GoFundMe thing, and the guy was selling these for 150 bucks. So I gave him 150 dollars and waited six months, nothing. Waited a year, nothing. I found out later that the guy that started this junk company was a convicted felon. Been uh, spent time in prison for arms dealing. <laughs> he was in his 20s. But when he got out, he cleaned up his act and started this company. And about a year and a half later, lo and behold, it showed up in the mail. It's like, yeah. <laughs> and I love it. I think it's neat. So let's do an acoustic version. I'm going to do a cover. We did two originals, so I, I'm allowed to do one cover. So this is some acoustic blue oyster cult. <laughs> Everybody always hollers cowbell. I don't have one. <laughs> I do. Who does?
Stephen Stanley, everybody. We're look, we, I, we were really looking for a cowbell, but we didn't, didn't find a cowbell, so we had to do the Jingle Bell edition. It's the holiday version of Don't Fear the Reaper. <laughs> 